What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, and in this food adventure, one of my biggest fears came true while battling this giant 72 ounce steak challenge. But what's even crazier is what happened after. And this is day 49, challenge number 31 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And this battle takes place in Radovzal, Germany, at a place called Porterhaus, and it's here I'm taking on their 72 ounce steak challenge. Now of course you've got a giant 72 ounce steak, but it is not alone, as it is served with your typical sides, including green beans, garlic bread, a little bit of a side salad, and your choice of either a baked potato or potato wedges. And you have one hour to complete the steak challenge, and if you're able to do so, you get the meal free, which costs 45 euros. You also get a certificate of completion and your picture up on their wall of fame. And with that being said, right away, I'm giving this one a thumbs up in terms of the challenge setup because one hour is a fair amount of time for the steak challenge and you also get a variety of items. And the options with your choice of potato is pretty nice too. Speaking of which, in my case, I went with the potato wedges because I knew what to expect with the baked potato as I'd watched fellow food fighters Randy Santel and Redeem, aka Steel Rod Redeem, who battled the steak challenge beforehand. And when I seen that potato come out, oh man, that thing was so monstrous and just overflowing with sour cream. So I figured there was a good chance I would get a smaller portion if I went with the potato wedges. And yet, they were still going to be an easy form of potato to eat. And why does this matter in this case? Well, because in this case, I was actually really wanting to set the new record, which was just set by Randy, with a finishing time of 29 minutes and 46 seconds. And this wasn't going to be one of those, let's see how things go about halfway through or whatever. This was one of those, I'm gunning for it straight out of the gate. Especially since I knew he'd be, uh, well, let's just say, very disgruntled to put it politely. If I could beat his time by using my tweaked steak strategy of simply just cutting up a majority of the steak early on, then focusing more on eating the pieces faster, which is not something he's a huge fan of, will only find this method in Magic Mitch's own book. It's not taught anywhere else. <laughs> even though it has worked to my benefit in previous food adventures on this trip. And in this particular case, everything was going great. But at one point, after I swallowed a piece, something felt kind of odd, but nothing unusual, since it's a feeling I've had before, just typically when I've had too big of a bite. Not that it happens often, but when it does, I make sure that I'm aware of it, and I also know that the best thing to do would be to keep my cool and try to flush the food down with a little bit more water which I did, but it didn't help. So right away, I signaled to Randy that we might have an issue here, as I was starting to realize one of my biggest food challenge fears was starting to come true. So this was my first time ever experiencing such an incident quite like this. And I'll be honest, it was super scary. And while I experienced a choking hazard per se, thankfully, the incident was very brief, as everything sorted itself out shortly after I stood up. And this is where things took a very unexpected turn, for the better. Because as you can see, the battle with this beastly steak challenge is not over. And let me explain. So it's commonplace for restaurants to have certain rules where if you choke, you fail the challenge. So I was in fact ready to take the loss on this one and fork over the 45 euros. But in this particular case, after asking the owner if I could keep going, he told me essentially that the rule is, you have one hour to finish your challenge. Whatever you do or whatever happens during that time is up to you. Which in effect, meant I was given a miraculous second chance for me to continue this fight, and I was back in the battle once again. Now, was it my fault that I choked? Sure. But I'm also not counting out the fact that I think the big fella up there had something to do with it. No, 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 not that guy. This guy. I can't shake the feeling that somehow he is involved, and I wouldn't be surprised if he put some voodoo magic on me or some sort of witchcraft, which I kinda don't blame him, seeing as he's watching me eat this big ol' honkin' steak, and not to mention he just watched Randy and Redeem do the same thing. But regardless, I was determined to take this second chance and finish what I started, which is to slay this food monstrosity and get the victory. Though considering what just happened, I wasn't thinking about the record anymore. I was still on the clock, and any time I might have made on that record anyways was probably wiped out. And I had just experienced one of my biggest fears I have during a food challenge, which is something that's definitely gonna rattle you at least a little bit mentally. So I decided to pull it back a little and spend more time taking smaller bites. Now eventually, I made it to the last few pieces of steak and then it dawned on me. I was actually somewhere close to Randy's pace when he finished the steak. 
so taking a shot at the record was still a possibility, since it really just essentially come down to how fast I could finish the sides, and I had a huge advantage with those potato wedges. And with that, I could start to feel the magic come back, as I started to kick things into high gear once again, continuing on and slaying these delicious sides with ease, which is why I'm also going to give this challenge a thumbs up because everything in this challenge tasted fantastic. And especially those sides, those were even phenomenal too, even after being cooled off some. And the presentation and the display of this entire meal was absolutely wonderful. I mean, this steak challenge is just as appealing to the eyes as it is to the taste buds. And it makes it a whole lot easier to finish. Can you believe it? Coming back from the depths of despair and experiencing one of my worst fears during a food challenge to not only come back and vanquish this monstrosity, but to do so in record time. Man, this was quite the food adventure. Not one I'd care to relive, but incredible nonetheless. And if you enjoyed watching this video, why stop now? Embark on another one and I'll see you there.